visiting hours run from the other day seems to have spawned some downtime interest. And some people wanted to look into the, what I'm sure is horrible misunderstanding there. They seem to think that it's some kind of technomancer cult looking to do bad things to innocent people. And well, who would I be to deny them the opportunity to investigate it? So, uh, yeah, I have Nevermore and the Queen here. So this is all in you guys' hands. I am merely here to, to kill you and make horrible things happen. Oh, yay. That's terrifying. All right. So I guess we've been interacting a bit on Jackpoint. Um, I don't think Nevermore knows the Queen personally. She's not run with her before, although that's nope. pretty common amongst Matrix types that they don't run across each other except for in between. Um, so I think just a quick recap of what's going on on Jackpoint is there was a run uh, where I think Roots is a Technomancer as well we posted um, that there was an issue on one of their runs, they run into a hive or a cult of technomancers. To be clear, he never, I believe, came out as being a technomancer himself. Uh, but he did know for certain, supposedly, that the the Dr. John B. Morals is a technomancer. Ah, uh, true. Yep. So that's sort of where the Queen realized that there was something going on and the queen has decaying dissonance so that'll be a lot of fun so she's actually trying to figure out what is up with her whole resonance thing and weird corrupted but not uh matrix seemed right up her alley and that is why she is interested in figuring out what the heck's going on over there So I will ask that you guys take moderately detailed notes uh, on the table itself, because I will use the same table for anybody who wishes to go and investigate. I'm trying to draw a box, but failing. Am I allowed to draw doodles in a corner? I mean, I'll just delete them when you least expect it. <laughs> uh, right, a box. Fair. Thank you, box. Uh, preferably things that are 100% factual. Um, yep. Go into the box. You guys can write your your scrawling conspiracy theories wherever else you want in whichever angle you wish. Uh, preferably if you could sign them with which character has that thought process just for later clarifications. Um, but yeah, no. This is This is on you guys. All right. Uh, so, would you like to start off? Oh, um, sure. Um, I think Nevermore has not been to this asylum, so the first thing she would want to do is try to figure out a little bit of background information, sort it all out. At least she doesn't admit to it being in the asylum. Um, so that seems like thing that involves some searching. First bit of clarification is it isn't actually an asylum. It is a behavioral health facility. Oh, of course. One would never want to call it an asylum. Well, typically, at least in my thought process, when somebody gets sent to an asylum, they never come out because they've been committed here, the, uh, the idea is re rehabilitation. True, true. Um, well, so we know the name of the facility um, from the Jackpoint thread, so I think I'd be interested in seeing what's available online um, for that. And I guess Meet Space, we have come together somewhere to uh, have this discussion. A safe place. Where do you guys want to meet up? 
well, it does lead to a small problem that Nevermore doesn't let people anywhere near her house. Um, she doesn't have another one. I don't think I have any specific places that the Queen has been. I mean, I, I figured we were going to meet up somewhere on the Matrix, but we can meet up somewhere and meet Yeah, space, yeah, let's meet up before. virtually. Let's right. see how it goes. Although she's not fond of doing anything dangerous from her house where she could be traced. But, yeah. It's a place of healing. What could be dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll... We'll meet online. Nevermore's Matrix icon looks like a raven made out of smoke. And so when she goes stealthy, the smoke disperses and kind of goes through things and reforms on the other side. So um, she'll sail up and alight and speak yep. to you. The queen's okay. icon looks like a pirate queen basically she's got her big hat with feather uh when she has a sprite it's usually pirate themed like either a crew member or the ship's cannon or a parrot ah well she'll shrink down and light on your shoulder then (laughs) ah perfect all right so uh i think that if we'd like we could start by doing like you like you suggested a matrix search and we could probably work together on that to make it easier yeah yeah, um, so uh, Nevermore has an agent as well as um, um, a specialization in computer matrix searching. For um, my own sanity, if you could just buy hits for assist tests, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> okay, sure. so buying hits means four dice equals one hit. Correct. I okay. made the mistake one time of taking two deckers on a run, mm-hmm. and it basically <laughs> basically tripled the length of the run. Or at the very least, the Matrix section. Well, it's one of those things that's like, okay, you guys can do a Matrix search. Uh, How many dice do you have? I have this many dice. Oh, I have this many dice, but my limit is... And it's just like, time out. (laughs) After that run, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. That's fine. I... Yeah. I can buy probably the same as your your agent, because I usually get sprite help, so I can buy three. Okay, so so I may be on... There's a huge hits, but still roll the main roll. Correct. Um, so how are we proposing to do this? Shall we just do our own searches? And Something with our own assists? Depends or? upon what you're, what you're doing. Um, if uh, you guys want to wor- work together for a singular search, just have one of you buy hits to assist the other. And... Uh, We'll go from there, unless one of you wants okay. to search for something else. We uh, we don't really have a time limit here. This is something you guys are doing in your own time. So, Yeah, I say I buy hit hits to help you with a deep search so we can get all the info we can, because we know something shady is going down, so any anything less will not help us, and we have the time. Okay. So I'll run for a thrice. Look it up. Looks like. Five, so that's ten dice divided by four. Round down is two. Um, I can get three from my agent. So, and I'll run browse, and I'll use what I call the yellow to paste those in. Somewhere. Okay. Right, so with the old random name generator here. <laughs> so. Ted Fieldberg. <laughs> so six hits. This is a start what, of uh, What's the uh you were just things on the facility itself? 
Yeah, so she's looking for anything general interest limited. Okay. So interest to to or start out by the obscure. To start things off, it is located in Kirkland, which is in Bellevue. It is a A rating area. Um I will need to look to find you some of the names for the people, but it has been there for a fairly long time. It is currently funded via independent like trusts and donations rather than uh, being part of, say, Doc Wagon or any of the other major medical situations. It's probably... No, I shouldn't say it's probably. I should be speaking in fact for this section. Um... The facility itself has been there for quite a while, although there was a little bit of a uh, a blurb made when they opened up a diagnostic medicine situation, which is now headed by Dr. John B. Morales, or Morales, depending upon you want to, how you want to look at it. What else would you like to ask questions on? You mentioned that, uh, that there's a new diagnostic wing with the... Uh... Yes, there is a... Less a wing, there was an actual construction, but it was like there's a, a new department that was opened, um, which Dr. Morales was, was put in charge of about, let's say, six months ago. Would we have to do a separate search on morals, or can we get that from this one? Uh, you would only be able to get the very, very limited stuff from morals. You would have to do an actual search upon him to, to find out more about him. You can find out some of his work with the hospital, but that's... Uh, what part in him in the hospital would you like to know? Um, did we get from... Jack, the topic of interest. Um, Sorry, you were breaking up a little bit in there. I missed some of that. I don't know if it's your... That awkward silence where somebody fights with Skype. <laughs> Yay, Skype, everyone's favorite. So I'll I'll make I'll put you on the spot then to alleviate dead air. Dead air. Uh, you were a teamwork in this, so you definitely have input on what kind of stuff is found up and what questions are asked. So please, ask away. Okay. I'm sure if we are researching a place where this guy is a doctor that we could find his specialty or something like that. So I'm, if we can find whatever at least the public specialty that he announces would be that would be nice uh investigative medicine diagnostic medicine he uh have you ever watched dr house yes i have kind of like that only not as much of an asshole <laughs> oh um, my god right it's almost like he's doing good he but it's okay it, it's less on the physical side, more on the mental side, because you but have – this is the sixth world. People are experiencing different forms of awakening or emergence, or there's all kinds of weird stuff going on, and he works on kind of figuring that stuff out and then setting people on the right path. Or at least that's what the uh, the info blurbs and good publicity for him say. Yeah. Okay. I think that's worth putting in a note that he Can you, that we should yeah. also search on him later. Yeah, I think Sorry? it's probably worth diving a little bit on him. Oh, did yeah. it not get fixed? Can you hear me? Oh, that you sound good now. You sound okay. Better. Sorry, I plugged in a new mic. Um, uh, okay, so have there been before we start another search on on Dr. Morales uh, should. Did we get anything deleted or obscure about the hospital? Have there been any famous patients or bad publicity for the hospital? Um, 
so you don't see anything along the lines of like patient gone missing. There are a couple of you know every place gets bad Yelp reviews. Um, however, it's it's kind of a weird thing on how you want to take it because it is, as it is a behavioral health facility, people who are like they made me crazy really kind of make you question about what's going on there and how much of a giant pile of soy salt you should take those things with. Um, but there are a couple of seemingly crackpot type things, but nothing within the past six months to a year. All right, and when did uh, Dr. Morals or Moros or whatever it was, Morals uh, come on? Uh, about six months ago. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we already have that written down on dump. Believe that hey. that Sorry? No, no, is, is there anything deleted? Um, deleted stuff? Hmm. The writ in the last six months? Nothing really that you find just on the open matrix that would be like, you know, fragments of stuff that you have to put together to to come up with crazy shenanigans. Um, seems like a normal, if slightly abnormal in the way that it's not owned by a giant corporation um, kind of thing. Unremarkable, average, run of the mill, all great, uh, all great descriptors for this place. Okay. No famous patients or other news recently. Nah, Doc Wagon's got kind of the uh, uh, monopoly, I guess, on that stuff. Gotcha. Okay. So maybe we can look a little bit more on Dr. Morales, unless you... Yeah, I just got one more question. Um, nothing, oh, on, nothing on any, like, random anonymous boards just talking quick. about, like, strange Matrix stuff there, other than what we saw on Jackpoint? So stuff like resonant stuff? Uh, I would also be looking for that, but, yeah, like, any, anything weird about the Matrix there... Like, even if someone stopped in and, like, I got my eyes looked at, but while I was there, there was something weird going on. Um, Anything like that. So one of the things I talked about uh, during the run was that this isn't actually, like, they have a small emergency room and medical facilities and medically trained staff, but it's not the kind of place that you're going to go at to have your cyber eyes upgraded or that kind of thing. It's more of a, like, they can handle overflow from more focused hospitals if it happens or if there is something between patients they can wheel them down and get them medical attention so it's not like a hospital hospital oh yeah that, yeah that's what i mean like someone who just wasn't in there as a patient because obviously if like someone like like the queen like a te technomancer would if there's something weird going on allegedly might be taken in by them and not be able to post about it but someone who was there briefly and just felt like something off about like the resonance or the matrix in the area so let me ask you a couple questions about the queen and the places that she would search and because as she's a technomancer somebody complaining about like a headache in certain places may not seem like of yeah. course you had a headache at the hospital but being a technomancer <laughs> you might be like no that sounds like you're you had some fading um do you have any Technomancer buddies that you would ask or other uh, Resonant-related shenanigans on you about your character? Uh, I knew they... Tuesday, but he very much died, so he's not very helpful to me. But what I do have is um, I know that sprites can leave like Resonance messages that only people with Resonance could uh, essentially view. So any like if we come across like even like the Yelp page, if someone left like a secret resonance note saying there's something going on here, that would be something that would be relevant to me. So while we're looking, I'm just keeping okay. my my resonance eyes open and can trying you, to keep. Can you give Go me ahead. a matrix perception test then? And we'll see if you spot any of that kind of stuff within the stuff you're searching for. 
because that's the kind of stuff that like you guys are compiling a giant thing of information and it's the kind of thing that nevermore can't even see yep so it I would be that. wholly exactly. upon you to Whew, with six hits so every once in a while on some of those like yelp reviews or that kind of thing you will find kind of like code that looks out of place but not in the way of like a um like a sprite or something like like almost like the corpse of a sprite ah all right and i don't really know how to otherwise kind of uh kind of put that out there especially because that kind of stuff is supposed to fade over time but you got a lot of hits and you had a lot of hits on a in-depth search so somewhere you're gonna find some like uh something along those lines you will find traces of resonance shenanigans along your way okay yeah i i figured they would cover the trail of that sort of sort of thing but this leads me to believe that i might have been correct in that how much other uh interaction have you had with technomancers um well uh not a huge amount like that's part of the reason she's here she wants to understand more about why sometimes her brain doesn't work properly but yeah, uh, I encountered I encountered another tech player characters it was just Tuesday who I encountered uh, other than that I was near a bunch of technomancers once where who were dying and that was bad <laughs> and uh, as a purely fluff reward for a run, I got a dog that has techno stuff, but he does. I don't do anything mechanically with him because obviously not. He is just for fun. So other than my dog and a dead guy, I have not had a huge amount other than myself. Okay. So then I'll just kind of wrap that uh, little nugget back into my head for now and see if you guys find it later. Okay. Uh, cool. So I think our next search should definitely be on morals. Yep. All right. So we'll do thing. I also posted the, the runner hub um, thread. Uh, thread. Because there's a lot more information there than I remembered reading. So just you may want to just double check. It looks like they reported the experiments. Okay, so these are all going to be pretty deep. And once again, I can buy three hits. Exactly, yeah, I took... Okay. So, uh, Dr. John B. Morals. He's a, uh... He's a doctor. I don't know of a... Um... A legitimate medical school in the sixth world. Um, mostly because my lore knowledge is not super great, but I will click my, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, universal business names. This sounds like what it, uh, actually no, this is better. University name generator. <laughs> I like it. Right? Um, Alright, I've given up. Instead, he, uh, he graduated, let's say, three years ago from the... Uh, whatever medical school is really big in Boston. MIT and T is a medical and magical school. Sure, that'll work. I'm just not, uh... It's like, actually right there. Um, he is 43 years old. Um, single. It really into his work. 
Um, what else would you like to know about him? Did he publish anything in his uh, research? Um, and also, 43 is a little old for a doctor. Did he do a long residency? And if so, in what? That's not exactly old. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Graduating three years ago, oh. 43 years old. I got you. Um, like really high end specializations require infinite years or maybe going back to that was the most recent like graduation I guess you found uh, you have not found any papers printed by the man no publications okay but we did we did know from a previous search that he specializes in diagnostic medicine yeah that is what he is the uh um, that was what he was hired for at the Tender Hearts facility. And that is kind of what they made a big deal about him being there to do. Interesting. So, that is, um, looks like he was calling the shots and seemed pretty dangerous. Um, According to the an auxiliary post. building, yeah, and then uh, the hospital had an auxiliary building where they seemed to be experimenting on people and not healing them. So do we do we know if uh, Dr. Morales did like some surgery rotations or things like that that would lead us to believe that he's? You find no evidence of him being any kind of surgical doctor. The experimenter. Yeah, you find nothing of him ever cutting a person, as far as surgery. Um, there was... So the the entire field of the, the diagnostic medicine profession is kind of about experimenting and kind of s seeing what works and narrowing things down and uh, that kind of stuff, if that makes sense. As for, like, actual human trials, that would be more, I think, based upon the, the facility doing that rather than a single person, like, going behind the hospital's back and doing stuff. Sorry, just taking notes here. Um, That's fine. Okay. So, uh, then I would lead us to believe that... Uh, Or the other in some mention. And the oh, you, okay Do you have any actual questions? Yep, sorry, I was out there. Sure. Uh, I had a burrito that was downstairs. <laughs> uh, did we get like a me feed page or anything? Anything that he personally has worked on or just stuff about him? Um, He's not the kind of person that has like an, a full on me feed page. Um, he's kind of kind of like me where he has one. And it exists, and you can find it, but it hasn't been updated uh, probably in about five and a half months, with the last update being um, him start, like a link to the uh, the hiring article about him for the the facility. Okay. What about not on like the about me or about us page at the facility? Usually there's like a little blurb. Uh anything that he might have worked on his own i just want to take a matrix look at uh because i know when when my dissonance gets a bit weird that i start messing things up i just want to look for any similar little little mistakes like that might not be obvious to someone who doesn't occasionally put their uh laundry in their dishwasher <laughs> <laughs> whoops uh yeah no you can go ahead and and throw some dice, and we'll see what you can find in there. There will be a couple of things. He has a a small team. Um, as I juggle my cat to come on over here and <laughs> hit the button. So, will that just be another perception? Yeah, we'll see if you find anything funny that was maybe... Uh, 
throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Oh, oh my god. god. Uh, so you will find that there are a abnormal amount of edits to this file. Uh, lots right. of spell checking, that kind of thing, which is really strange in the sixth world of direct neural interface. Um, yeah. I will also give you some some names for various people. There is a Caesar who is part of his team. Uh, right. Last name Reno. Uh, just for one. Uh, Nevermore, do you got these ones or do you want me to write them down? Yeah, I got it. Sorry, I'm just... Okay, your notes are way better than mine, so I just figured I'd let you get that stuff. Sure. Uh, so he has a five-man team. It's a Caesar Reno, and my cat is in the way of my other screen. <laughs> Goodbye, cat. Uh, push the button again. Ronald Scott. Lucille Anderson. Thomas Ruiz and then Ashley Nohawk Nohawk, sorry how many was that? was that five? that's, that's five okay. oh, Nohawk cool that should show up alright, never more Kind of seem to be recruiting technomancers. Is there any kind of like college type study? Like going on at the place or just to the minutes of your time earn five hundred bucks. Uh, I'm sorry, well, I think she'd want to look at the place, but I sorry, there's a part they just rush. Yeah, there's a lot of static that tends to come through on you. Oh sorry. Um how's that? Way better. Maybe I'm, okay, yeah, I was probably too close to the mic. Um, so I, I doubt they'd be so obvious as to just post come into the uh, tender hearts and do it. That, so I don't know. That, hello, we are That's looking for part of Seattle users. University. Well, I doubt they'd be that obvious because that would be like MCT being like, come in and get hit in the head and take it back for research. <laughs> <laughs> We here at MCT they... have one question for you. Does this rag smell like chloroform? Exactly. I don't know if there are, if we can find any scams or other things like that, or any psychological studies from maybe the local university, I think it's Seattle University, about, you know, are you having strange dreams, or if maybe the queen knows kind of what kind of there any recurring dreams that technomancers get i don't know about technomancers in general but you know i get i get the same kind of reoccurring dreams that everyone else gets uh though yeah i think i think it was a good idea to see if there were any just like um studies going on just recruiting random people because I know from personal experience that a mage could determine if you are a technomancer. So it's possible they have a mage or something on hand or some other way. I'm, I'm sure there are other ways, but the one that the queen knows that she's specifically been, call, been called out by a mage once. But yeah, so if there's any like studies going on like that, that would be good to know. I mean, it might be an indicator. So what do you mean by uh, any flags that could lead to false studies? Like, if you see anything that they're not trying to actually do studies here, or... No, I mean, like, any uh, pre premature indications that someone is a technomancer and hasn't figured it out yet. Like, what are the early symptoms? Um, man, that's a good question that Rob doesn't have a good answer for. I imagine it's a lot like... Uh, Kind of like the awakening, but more, but less obvious because we're such a digitally connected thing. It'd be like one day you go to, you know, you're just kind of doing your thing on the matrix, and then you realize that you never picked up or slaved or turned on your comm link, and it's like, okay. Um, or it could be something a little bit more 
obvious where like you're doing your thing in the matrix and then you really want something to happen and you just kind of accidentally do it because you now have attack and sleaze ratings um i imagine there's also a lot of headaches and the matrix might feel more real to you but uh so maybe some sort of study co-sponsored by the computer science and psychology departments at Seattle University about, you know, what makes a person really good at using the matrix. If you're really good at using the matrix, if you have talent, we'll pay $500 for moments of your time. Something like that. way of recruiting because they obviously aren't going to be like hey we want technomancers okay actually this is relevant uh on the jack point scout posted something about the q36 isotope modulator Uh uh-huh uh i would i think we should look into that as well um also the name diane walsh i don't know where that came from in particular i think maybe that was someone they were looking for I didn't get like I, obviously we didn't get all the details because we only have the access to the jack point. But those those are our two clues right now of things that we know at the hospital have things that have happened. So I think we should definitely look into those. And then as much as I'd hate to do it, we kind of want to look at the hospital either physically or the host. I assume the hospital has a host. I don't know for sure or if it has stuff, because if the matrix is wonky there and if I can get in there and feel it, then we will definitely know that something has happened and that we're on the right track and we're not just chasing nothing. So, uh, Nevermore, what do you think? What are the, which of those would you like to look into first? Uh, Diane Walsh, the isotope modulator, or go poke the bear? Uh, let's do the poking as late as possible. <laughs> All right. Um, so, I figure let's look for a Q36 isotope modulator. So there's the Assuming bot hits and other things, that's the roll. Yeah, so that's a good roll. Um, let me double check the associated corporation thing, and then I will get back to you. On... There it is. AGC, I think. Uh, I think that's what it was, but I want to just double check. Yeah. Uh. AG Kemi Europa. So the the isotope is uh, still a experimental slash I don't know what they actually call experimental drugs or if they just do call it experimental. Um, they are attempting to find a way to cull uh, astral perception slash projection without like. Um, negative effects upon the overall magical capabilities of a subject. Think of it like reverse deep weed. Um, uh, I see. The The bit of a pitch that you're finding on it is that it is to help people who uh, are recently awakened to not have... to not expose themselves to the horrors of the astral world before they are ready. However, it has some, at the moment, pretty nasty side effects. Uh, Listed in there is kind of just like a lethargy slash, not quite like catatonic, but like a, like you could still be up and walking around, but you will just space out and be kind of like a zombie. Um, You ever seen somebody sleepwalking? Yeah. Kind of like that. Like, if you, if you draw their attention, they'll be like, oh, hey, you know, they'll kind of come out of it. But for the most part, you are kind of a sleepwalker. Um, almost disconnected from reality? Almost. Um, and if you take it for too long, it begins to kind of build up in your system, and those effects become take longer after being removed from it to fade. Uh, any... Thing while we're searching for that, like anyone out there on the Matrix who's talked about it, 
like even anonymously talk about oh it had something weird to weird reaction with resonance in particular um yes actually because you are resonant yourself you will find that there have been a couple of resonance messages left on certain tags for like the big the bigger more solid chunks of information you find on this thing yep will have some of those resonance tags on there of like this is worse than insert high noise area. And they'll have some like just didn't feel right kind of things to it. And they'll mention right. some uh, some strange headaches and not being able to formulate words properly afterwards. That seems frighteningly familiar to the queen. Yeah. All right. Interesting. So those those resonance signatures look like they're they're evidence that the post was made by a technomancer, not that the post had been tampered. Yeah. By... If like uh. Somebody else. Just kind of stashed away down in there. Yeah, almost like resonance graffiti that us technos can use to communicate. All right. Okay, that's interesting. That's another definite connection that we have here. There's... And for the queen, not that she says that part, it seems very familiar to what she's experienced. Okay, we had one other thing. The other thing was Diane Walsh. This doesn't mean I. What's up? Yeah, never more if you're talking. We can't hear you. Maybe. Hello? Maybe it's not there. Uh, Hello? Hello? There, there it mostly is. Maybe. Everybody just fell off my table. I wonder if my Skype call is about to die. Oh, that would be bad. I mean, I'm still here. Do you hear me? I still hear you. Hmm. I still see myself on the table, but I can reset the page. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out uh, later on. Yep. So, you're uh, you're thrown under the bus here again to, to carry the dead air. Yeah. Uh, I was curious about and I just wrote the name down and it's gone where are you there we go uh Diane Walsh, Diane Walsh. yes yeah. who is Diane Walsh where did Diane Walsh come from all right so let me flip back over to this other page real quick so that I can see the names that I gave she has an older brother uh 19 whose name is Calvin her mother is Kimberly, and her father is Matthew. She is 16 years old. She goes to a a moderate, uh, like middle life sto style high school in the the Kirkland area, the Bellevue area. Um, I don't know what the name of the actual school would be, and you can make it whatever you what you wanted to to do. Um, Oh, there's my cat again. All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Welcome back. We can hear you. Okay. Um, yeah, Skype was locking up for some weird reason. Um, I couldn't click on anything. Hooray for Skype. The, the interesting information you will find out is that she was rather popular in school. Um, giving it the stink eye, you'll see that she was a cheerleader. She was moderately intelligent. Um... However, looking at some of the pictures that you'll be able to find on her very active me feed, she looks 
I don't want to say sickly because that has the wrong connotations to it, but she looks very thin and very sort of malnourished. Like maybe she went to this facility for an eating disorder or something like that. Something like exactly that. All right. Okay. So the jackpoint mentioned that she disappeared in the bowels of uh, potentially disappeared into the bowels of the facility. Does any of the information on our search find anything about her going to get treatment? Like, well wishes from her friends being like, oh, get better. There oh was God, a, a post uh, about three, a little over three weeks ago um, talking about going away to see family, which kind of meets up to when they were talking. I believe they talked about the timeline on the jackpoint. I can double check, but I think we can make that connection anyway. Um, which kind of matches up with the time that she got sent in. And then there has been nothing since then on her previously very active me feed. All right. This makes me wish we could we could call the other runners who were there and be like, "Okay, tell us about your job." <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully, once you we're done our investigation, are we can. more than welcome to reach out to whoever else is available now. Uh, I am considering tomorrow just having an open table for a couple of hours. If anybody who wants to look into this situation can just that'd be really cool. Uh, I'm probably thinking I'll do that from like 10 or so tomorrow until probably about 4 or 6. Yeah, that'd be cool. Look for a free running post tomorrow, to this afternoon or something. Awesome. All right. So. Okay. Um, we should be looking into, I, I guess, did I miss that she has not posted on MeFeed for the last three weeks? Is that what happened? Yes, she said that she was going to visit some family, and then vanished. Okay. But that was, like, the easy jump in logic of, I'm going to visit some family, with air quotes, because saying, I'm going into the hospital because I don't, I refuse to eat, is a completely different thing when you're a 16-year-old girl. And there are, of course, like, well wishes from her friends on, like, hey, you know... Enjoy wherever bumble scum you're going to and all that kind of other stuff that she had, you know, interacted with. But then it was like radio silence because I'm committed to a institution. Yeah. Cool. Okay. No um, more. Do you have any? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just asking. Oh, okay. you I was it. thinking. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop. Okay, go. All right. I, I was thinking to do. I mean, the other things we could look into is what the specialties of Dr. Morales's team are. I mean, like Dr. House had like different specializations in his team. Is this uh, something that is available for us? You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just here to make up shit as I go. Really up to you guys on whatever you want to do. Sorry, typing. For the team. Excellent. Just that awkward moment when the, the girlfriend comes home and I need to go say hello. Go nuts, man. Nice. You guys can keep talking, I can still hear you, it's just, you know.
Okay. Kind of like expertise or expertise they have. And again, we're looking for temporary record. I return. Threshold. Both. So, uh, which of the the people here do you want to look look on first? As as you have a, a couple. So of Cesar people. Romano is the or Reno. Sure. Cesar Reno is the first guy. So let's just roll on that. Uh, he is from Aslan. He's a recent. Um, Okay. Uh, Elf seems to be just like a fairly standard medical practitioner with a small background in uh, more exotic diseases. I may have lost you. Are you there, Rob? Uh, I think so. Are you guys not there? No, I'm here. Okay, I got a lot of digital noise on that one. So you said elf from Astlan and a background in exotic diseases? Yes. I, you don't find a lot of uh, interesting stuff on Roland. So Lucille is human, uh, younger, about 28. She's got a uh, a degree dealing with some of the more electronic-focused things. Um, you know how there's those qualities like sensitive system and Faraday himself, and some people just have a, like the the natural hardening and that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. She deals with whatever medical disease stuff influences that. Um, trying to find a uh, a less addictive thing or a way to find things like cold and hot sim make them less addictive or to better treat them, that kind of stuff. You are more than welcome to to ask any questions on these guys. Okay. Um, Lucille, about just out of med school in twenty eight. Um, hmm. Or conferences where she's spoken at. I'm sorry. I didn't uh, didn't catch that with your Any papers or. Uh no, she is a little on the young side to have written like, she has written some stuff, but it was all like. All right, sorry. Your... Any papers or. The stuff that she has written is like, college thesis papers, that kind of thing. Nothing that's ever gotten, uh big fancy things going on what was your uh, thesis on uh one of let's let me take a look at the, the negative quality list and i will pick one of those that she was effectively doing her thesis on i think i like the idea of it being fair day himself but let me or no i'm sorry i got a better one simpsons vertigo That was her. That was her thesis. Um, Thomas Ruiz. He is human. He has. Uh, oh, did I not mention that Caesar was awakened? He is a. He's a magician. Sorry. Thomas Ruiz is ex doc wagon. He was uh, not exactly let go, 
But given as you guys are Shadowrunners, you understand exactly what that means. But it wasn't to the Tender Hearts facility. It was to uh, Ario Meatwagon. He was previously a uh, rapid response or an EMT physician. But uh, here he is after uh, after leaving the Meatwagon. Uh, he is a dwarf. He is a, uh, a UCAS citizen. Okay, interesting. Um, and of course, you what guys is have... Ario? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, it is the competitor for Doc Wagon. Does all of the same things, only it has a better name. <laughs> okay, um, and then I guess we'll do Ashley. Ashley is a Native American shaman. She's 35. Um, has a lot of history in the magical healing areas. Um, specifically on, like, long-term care. Cute. What amount of time? Uh, she could be human. Interesting. That is an interesting group that they have. Agreed. Any other things that we should... I'm just going to go over the jack point again and see if there's anything obvious we've missed. I mean, there's definitely the electronic... You dropped out of there on us. Do we want yeah, to try switching to be... Discord or something? Yeah. Give it a shot. I, uh, All right. I don't mind. Okay. Just because uh, I'm, I'm getting Nevermore, it's like sentences dropping every well every pretty sentence. frequently yeah, yeah. sure okay. uh do you want to just try him hosting skype first and then we'll see what happens from there sure all right hanging up i'm totally gonna kill them all it's gonna be great Waiting on him to push that button. It's times like this I really wish I had video editing skills so that when I upload this to YouTube, I uh, I have all of this stuff going on and a lot of dead air, which is like. Uh, Probably should have stopped. Uh, hello. 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 Hi. Let's see how this holds up. All right. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So, uh, the ball is still firmly in y'all's court. All right. I don't see anything else on the jack point that was specifically relevant to this. Other than there was a nurse, and it was spooky, and the Technomancer cult. But, <laughs> yeah, I think we may have to do recon as awful as that's going to be for us, for us Matrix folk. Yeah, I guess the way we could do it is... Uh, um, Memoir's a little bit sneaky, but not terribly. Um, but if we just get within 100 meters, then we could maybe... Do that again. 
you're thinking like park a car nearby and do a little matrix poking. Yeah, um, I always worry about getting out before I go in. Um, and never mind. And that's somewhat unreliable. Um, I don't know if you happen to have a car. I do have a car. Uh, my worry being if we get, if there are a Technomaxer cult, they will fuck our car. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how we get around that if we're just poking yeah. our noses in right now. Yeah, um, and Nevermore has a problem with two people if one of them is the driver of a car. That's not a player problem, that's actually a character problem. She nearly died in that situation before, and I have a negative call. Um, so uh, she would suggest that we hire a driver. Okay. Uh, the Queen has Johnny Cab, if we want to use that. I got him at three, so he could get us like a not-terrible car. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I miss... That. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you're breaking up again. But you, you have a higher uh, grade Johnny... You have a higher grade Johnny Cab? Yeah, I got it at three. Hello? Yep. Do you oh, guys okay. want to try uh, switching over to the Discord? Because this doesn't seem really any so, better. Yeah, we'll try Discord. Yeah, right. I agree. Let's do that. So I'm going to we'll also take five, just because we've been on for a little uh, while. Or is it the same one? Then? Okay.